Welcome back to America's Spin Show. I'm Paul Gubiati, coming to you from our Washington, D.C. headquarters. This week, we're witnessing the billionaire space race. What does that mean to us, the average everyday Americans? Allegedly, now that space travel is possible in the public sector, they are democratizing space. But when? Can anyone afford it? And will you die? Here to give us some more insight, we sent Stacy Keller and Gary Thomas down to the launch site in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Let's start with you, Gary. As of this taping, Richard Branson has made it to space and back safely with Jeff Bezos soon to follow. Gary, how do you feel now that we're in this new space race? It's certainly inspiring. Indeed, Americans are now able to believe that going to space is something that is attainable to them. Attainable? How so? Well, it is a little expensive at the moment, and there's a waiting list. But you get to go up, and then you come back down. If all goes according to plan, how expensive? Like a quarter million dollars? Wow. I do want to note that over the next, oh, uh, 20 to 30 years, the goal is to get the cost down to about $20,000 per ticket. Jesus Christ on a disco stick? For what purpose? That's an open question, Paul. These programs differ from SpaceX because they just charge money to take you to space with no purpose, other than to say you've paid the money for a ticket and you've been to space. With SpaceX, presumably, there's a destination in mind. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Stacy, what are you learning from your sources? That's right, Paul. I just checked Snatch Chat and they're telling me the same thing. Two billionaires are going on self-funded trips to space. Really cool, guys. Wow, I can see what big, strong men you are. I sense some sarcasm? You're goddamn right, that sarcasm. I mean, this is so stupid. I mean, these rich assholes are in a race with each other to be the first, fastest, go the highest, whatever. Meanwhile, we can't even get our shit together on this planet. D- don't you think it's cool that they're putting research into it and proving the concept? No. Not even a little? Hell no! You share? Yes! Am I the only one who doesn't care about this story? Why not? Because have you ever met a billionaire? These people are narcissistic psychopaths. They're a bunch of entitled white men who just want to play with their toys and show off about how cool they all are. They have enough money to go to space because we enabled them. I'm so pissed off because now they get a whole news cycle devoted to stroking their egos while we're down here trying to unf*** this country. You know how to fix things around here? Tax the shit out of them so they don't have enough money to go to space and the rest of us can be better off. But they said they're doing it for all of mankind. Do you actually believe that? This is nothing more than an intergalactic dick measuring contest. But what about friendly competition and it making us all better? F*** all that shit. These guys want to make money off of space tourism. They did something that was done 60 years ago. They're not even learning anything new. They're just testing stuff. Well, when you put it that way. Yeah, I guess it's not really all that impressive. They only went like 50 miles up. Exactly. People already went to the moon, which is like 23900,000 miles away. Real small potatoes. Can't we just enjoy this? Do we have to think about the inequality and toxic masculinity that made all this possible? Can't we just enjoy it for a while? Uh, uh Uh-oh. Looks like we have some breaking news. It's breaking news! Oh, panic! We're just getting word into America's spin show that some real astronauts are now giving statements on recent space race developments. Up to this point, several astronauts and astrophysicists have weighed in, saying that they're encouraged by the democratization of space. Now, we're getting word from none other than Neil Armstrong, and here's what he had to say. They're going up how high into space? That's it? That's barely space. Try going to the moon and back. F***ing pussies. Whoa, now that's a blistering statement. Drama! Apologies to our viewers for the colorful language there, but that's not all. We're getting a second statement into the newsroom, this one from Buzz Aldrin. He says, quote, wait, what? They paid to go to space? If they were working smarter and not harder, they'd go work for NASA and they'd pay them to go to space. Ha ha, ha 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 ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha. What dummies? Well, there you have it. 
it's quite a mixed reaction coming in from the space community. We'll keep an eye on the situation as it develops, so we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. 